Hey, this is John. Welcome back to my Sims 3 Let's Play and the exciting conclusion of the Great Pyramid in Al-Samhara. Or Al-Samhara. Perhaps someday I will pick a consistent pronunciation for that, but it will not be today. Okay, so um, although there was more stuff over here after the bathroom, we are going to go over here first. Uh, this part uh, needs us to finish the stuff that's down here before we go farther in. Is that treasure? I think it is. Let's go get that, and then we'll go down the stairs. A cut alabaster. Cool. I really feel like uh, Jesse plays songs faster. I'm not watching him, but I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, the perception of time is different. All right, I don't see anything on the walls over here. Nothing over here. Okay, this needs the Earth Core Keystone. Let's go into this door. All right, what do we find in here? I see, I see a green switch to pull. Maybe I want that. I don't know. Good job, William. You did something. Let's go look inside this sarcophagus. I think there is a mummy in here, but I might be misremembering that. Oh. 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 I guess not. It's an earth core keystone. All right. Uh, let's go collect the titanium or whatever this is. Um, we don't need to use it here. This is just a bunch of traps, and we can just bypass this. So oh, this secret door lets us bypass all these traps. And there's another place that you can use the Earth Core Keystone in here. And that is uh, somewhere in here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no doors or torches or wall things here. Just this door here and whatever's behind this yeah. rock pile. Smash! Ancient coins and a door. So now we can use the Earth Core Keystone to bypass all of these traps in here. You have to go through this door. There's nothing hidden over here. Um, it'll break this, and we can go ahead and inspect this wall for hidden treasure. So we can do that. Or just go through the door and go through. It's up to you. Obviously, I want all the treasure. As a min-maxer, it's what I do. I want it all. Do I need it? That doesn't matter. I want it. I mean, realistically, what am I going to do with a cut alabaster or, you know, some more money? At some point, we're going to have so much, I will not have anything to do with it. We're going to buy the entire town. Every single business there. We found a relic. Do I need it? Probably not. But I wanted it. So, here's another keystone. We need the Death Tomb Depth keystone. It's a tongue twister. But this is the Lodestone key. So, it's not the key for this. Like I said in the last video, there's a lot more to do in this tomb. That's why I used, that's why I made two videos and not one. I didn't want uh, like an hour and 10 minute video. And it definitely would have been an hour and 10 minutes. I'm almost sure of it. I mean, we'll see. If I get through here in five minutes, I'll add the two videos together. But we're already at five minutes, so I doubt that's going to happen. All right, let's collect that and go up here. Okay, so right here, here is the bathroom we were at before. And there is some treasure over here by the Sphinx statue. Let's go go get that real quick. And uh, while we're over here, I'm going to go to the bathroom right now. I think we're okay right now. But taking that oh. angers the Sphinx and you get wet. But... It's not going to block you. It's fine. You can even just walk right around it. So. 
is just letting you know thieves are not appreciated. All right, let's see here. We need to go upstairs. There's treasure over here I should get too. Then we'll go upstairs. So here's where we use the lodestone keystone. Lodestone key. Over here is the place where we had the entrance to the tomb where this was blocked off. So now we can go ahead and clear this out. And we can go ahead and collect these, this treasure while we're here. I was going to say these relics. I don't think they are relics. Okay, it was. I, I was wrong. All right. Uh, let's see here. So we have two ways we can go. Um, this is a side track where you can go if you have Pangu's Axe. This is the main part. So I'm going to go over here to the side area first. Because there's treasure up here. I like treasure. You guys like treasure, right? Leave me a comment if you like treasure. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I think uh, finding all the secrets is fun. That's why I play this. Smash! <laughs> now we can stand on this pressure plate and open this door. I would have thought the boulder was enough, but I guess they didn't want you Xenoporting past it. Here's a treasure chest we can open. Ooh, it's a gold sphinx statue. I will take that. And some garbage, I think, but whatever. We're not going to eat shawarma. Sorry, man. How are we doing on time? It's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think I want to pull this guy once. What are we find there? Is that just a, a Sphinx statue? Yeah, that's what it was, I think. Okay. I'm going to push this guy over here on the trap. I believe this does the exact same thing. Put the trap over here. So I'm not going to leave, not going to do anything with that. Let's go clear this up. And there is another hidden thing to inspect over here. Another one of those hidden walls that I seem to think are hidden, even though they're in plain sight. And it's obviously a hidden door. I don't know why I say that wrong so often. <laughs> eh, whatever. Okay, let's look in the sarcophagus and see what's here. All right, good job. More relics, Liam. Always more. That's all I want. More, more, more. Smash! Money, I'll take that. We're going to build a house soon. I need more money. This is a cool place because as you walk down here, all the lights will light up. It's like um, it's like a, a gauntlet, but, uh, you know, a fun one. A ceremonial gauntlet, not a punishment gauntlet. I like that. That was a cool idea they had. All right, there we go. Hidden switch, and we activated that. Now we can go open this treasure chest over here. Got some garbage. Okay. Let's go push this guy far. Uh, there is a mummy in this sarcophagus. So if you don't want to worry about him, do not open this chest. But Liam is not worried about that. I wish there was a way you could interact with them and fight them without having to wait for them. But there's not, so... We'll have to wait for him to detect me and say, hey, maybe I should fight this guy. There we go. Let's see if I win the fight or if I get cursed. I mean, we are practically a master of Simfu, so I'm thinking we're going to win. But it's not a guarantee. <laughs> the mummy likes me. That's weird. <laughs> Come on, Lynn, you got this. That's right. Yeah. Shouldn't have tried to guard your treasure, should you? Let's 
Liam, please pull this out so we can get back there. One, two. Now I gotta pull it back onto this plate so I can get back to this treasure chest. All right, now we can go open this treasure. Ooh, some star cut rainbow stuff and other rainbow stuff. All right, let's go push this out of our way. Okay, we can leave it like that. Let's go look inside his sarcophagus and see if he left any treasure in there for us to take with us. All right, it's a piece of his own sarcophagus, but whatever. All right, we got to pull this guy out to activate this pressure plate and let us out of here. We could just cross it, but I'll put the uh, patch you back. Okay, that concludes the side trek. Now we need to go back to the main area. We had two and a half days. Our case here can be over one day. This is one tomb. It's all we've done. I mean, I did let him sleep, but still. So here is the Death Tomb Depth Keystone. That is hard to say. But there's more things in here. Yes, we are still not done with this tomb. There are many more things to go look through. Uh, let's go through this main door here. There is all kinds of good stuff in here. Some chests, some coins, a sarcophagus. William is getting hungry. What's in this chest? More coins, cool. We are almost at the point we could buy another one of those Sultan's Tabernacles, which I will do if I have enough um, going on. A relic worth a thousand dollars. That is awesome. Find a hidden door. Okay, uh, there's one right over here, I think. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Okay, cool. We can go ahead and clear this, I think. This is a hard thing to inspect. I think you can get back there with just routing, but it is a bit annoying and hard to do. So I may just skip this, and uh, if it doesn't just work, I may just have, yeah. I'll probably have Jesse use his Tranquil Transference to be able to come back over there and inspect that before we leave. Or never, whatever. I don't recall if there's really impressive treasure in there. I just don't remember. I just know it's very hard to have them route there. It shouldn't be, but it is. I like the doors that open themselves, especially after learning that um, they can hurt their hands on the other kind. Here's another one of those places with just tons and tons of graves to mourn. I don't remember which one's which. Um, I'm going to try this one and this one, and I'm going to push this statue, which I'm sure does something. It may be one of these three, though. So I feel like I need to mourn, like, all of these. Okay. It's not the top right. It's not the top middle. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, that opens up this hole. I'm certain one of these graves has a hidden thing. It's got to be this one. Like, it's, it's got to be. Okay, it was. All right. Let's inspect both of these holes. All right, let's see what's in these holes in the wall. 
and the four. Okay, bugs, sure, but what else is in there? A pushable statue fragment. Awesome. I definitely want those. And Liam had to stop use the bathroom. Sorry about that, buddy. We're not playing hopscotch. For the last time, you are a grown man. You want to play hopscotch so bad? At least have some kids first so you don't seem like you're really weird. Like, at least act like it's for them, not for you. Because I'm just saying, it's a little weird. You trying to play hopscotch all the time. William is getting super tired again. Um, we don't have a lot of time, but I may have to give him at least a power nap to get him to finish this tomb. So, we'll see. Because, believe it or not, we are still not done. <laughs> there is still more to do. Not a lot. We're almost to the end. But, like, there's not nothing left. So. Oh. Jesse is sleeping. I'll probably have him meditate and come back over here. Okay. Let's go through this door over here. There's a rock pile to clear. Ready, Liam? And... Smash! Good job. Let's look inside. Hey, there's a gem of some kind on the floor. I hate when that happens. Sometimes it happens over and over again, too. A cut turquoise. Alright, oh. sure. Oh. There we go. A rock. Oh. Not a good one, but, you know, we it, there was one. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have him take a little power nap. And then we will come back and complete this tomb. So, I have to let him sleep till I don't know, noon? Maybe not that long. Let's go place this right here. And see if he can sleep in it. So, Liam, can you route there? Let's find out. Okay. Looks like you can. So, I just want to give him enough energy so he's not, like, about to pass out. Because at some point, he just won't do certain of his things. So, Jesse... He wants to find $10,000 worth of relics. Like, that's good, but we're about to leave, so I don't see any reason to promise that right now. I want you to meditate. We're going to have you try to get that treasure that's in the tomb where Liam is. So I'll be back once Liam has had a little bit of nap time. All right, I give him a few hours. You know, we don't have time to let him sleep the entire day, but... Uh, Give him some time, and hopefully that'll be good enough. So, uh, Liam needs to go downstairs, um, back to the death tomb depth. <laughs> Jesse has meditative focus. So, let's see if he can get over here and inspect this hole. So, let's do a tranquil transference. Can you inspect this hole? Yes, now he can. So we'll see if it was worth doing this puzzle or not. I think it's just a routing failure. Oh my god, it's a high quality dried food. It was complete garbage. Fully explore a tomb. <laughs> you know, I doubt you're going to do that. Um, the cool thing is, though, um, I love Tranquil Transference because I can go right back to the marketplace now. And we will have us something to eat. We will have some, I don't know, shawarma, breakfast, whatever. This is actually almost, this is probably better than the teleporter. 
Is it as easy? No. And it wasn't in the base game, but, you know, this is pretty good, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesse, uh, it's morning time. Well, let's have hot dogs. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, when you're done... <laughs> When you're done, go play the guitar, and I'll give Liam your food, and we will continue working on this tomb. All right, so we need to go back down here, so let's go in there. So, remember, we got the keystone over here, but that wasn't for this door. Now we have the keystone for this door, so we can go into this door. Yeah. I'm not sure if this or the Dragon Cave is a longer dungeon, but, like, this is really one of the longest ones in the entire game. As you can see, we're still not done. This, this isn't, isn't the end. So, that's why I didn't let him sleep all day. He still needs some time to continue this. All right, let's go ahead and go into this. Okay, we open up that door. I believe there are more hidden things in here. Let's go inspect the skull's eye socket. Mm-hmm, sure, bugs. Okay, maybe the other eye socket. Good job, William. You're doing great. Okay, we broke the, the traps. I was hoping for more, but whatever. This statue can be inspected. I believe if we pull back, there's something behind it. Okay, let's pull it once. Yep, there's a hole back here to inspect. Alright, we got a hidden door. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go clear this rebel pile. Um, I think maybe this one or this one needs to be mourned. I think none of the rest of them do need to be mourned. So, uh, under 12 hours. We gotta hurry, Liam. We gotta hurry. <laughs> Come on, mourn faster. Okay, there we go. We got a hole to inspect. Man. Could there be one here if we did one of these? We got a pushable... That's your fragment. That's pretty cool. There's a gem back here. Didn't get to see that either. You know, I considered not taking this tomb, even with two and a half days, thinking we might get pressed for time here. And I'm hoping uh, <laughs> I didn't do something stupid by doing this now. I don't want to be cut short. Um, let's see here. Ooh, a gold statue. Oh, another door to inspect, too. Another gold figurine. Let's go smash the rock pile and see what's behind there. All right, let's look inside this sarcophagus. Jesse, you okay? Mm, you're mostly okay. I think you should probably go use the bathroom. Okay. Let's have you do that. And then we'll worry about your social score. So we'll call uh, Jay. And then you can go back to playing your guitar. I'll have you go here and play for tips. All right, William found 11 gold coins. So I think that's everything in this room. It's a very complicated treasure room. Yeah. I'm going to skip morning these. If I miss something, at me in the comments. 
There's another one of these that moves, I think. Uh, this one. Okay, I can push it already, though. So I don't have to inspect it. I can just go push it. And I believe there's a hole or something back here to inspect. Yep, there we go. Okay, good job. Found the bugs. A cut luminorious gem. Nice. I thought maybe this opened up, but I guess not. This is a pretty cool room, the hexagon room. All right, let's go smash this and open the treasure chest. Collect this. Open the treasure chest. Let's look in the rest of the rooms. Nothing else over here. I don't see how there'd be any hidden doors here. They're just the walls are, you know, too close to other things. So we got some garbage. Okay. We got a cool relic, I guess. And some ancient coins. All right, let's go through this door. <laughs> William's getting tired again. Buddy, there's no more time for naps. We completed things. All right, so there are two mummies over here. This is a um, trigger for some fire traps if you want to burn them. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pull one of these. And see if we can get in. Actually, let's go pull this one. It's closer. If I just pull it once, can I get back in there? Can I go here? Okay. Let's... I can't pull it. Okay. All right. Uh, Shebby wants to attack me. Shebby Mazamesis the second. Well, you know, um, I'm not sure... It was a good idea if you attacked me, because I am a master of Simfu. <laughs> he just waiting. Hey! Hey, are you also Chevy? That makes no sense. Look, mummy either attack me or go away. Go open the chest. Oh, I didn't want you to go over there. The Relic of Eternity. Awesome. Now we can deliver it. Farid Kamel will be quite happy. Um, let's go look inside their tombs. Their sarcophagi before we leave. Ah, that is not treasure. That is garbage. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you want to attack me, you know? Uh, I, I'm here. I'm right here. Yeah. Perhaps you shouldn't guard your treasure. Perhaps you should have just let me have it. Just think about that. I don't think you did. I don't believe there is a third mummy. Hey, we got a dive well fragment. Didn't want that, but okay. Let's see, what are you doing? You're playing? You are dirty. I'm always sending you back to get um, a shower. You seem uh, like you need one. Who is going to pay tips to a smelly guitar player? I guess lots of people. But I don't think they should. Alright, let's go take a shower. And hopefully we are about done with this quest. Like, I got the relic, I have one more thing to look into, he's hungry, he needs to the bathroom, but we're going to use hey, escape dust and get out of here. Okay, what was that, Liam? This is the real reason for escape dust. Not because you want to leave the tomb, because you want to get somewhere faster and you only have six hours. I can't go from this place to Farid Kamel in time. i got to get back here. Wow. That was expensive. Good job, William. Let's use our escape dust and let's go deliver this relic to Farid Kamel. Ha ha ha! 
Good job, Liam. Alright, I took Liam on a side track over to use the restroom, but now we will deliver the relic to Farid Kamel. Let's go give this to him before our vacation runs out. Jesse, um, please go here and continue playing four tips. Farid, please come outside. It's 7.30 and I am about to pass out. Let's give you a funny greet. Even though we're exhausted, you know, uh, we gotta do the we gotta do the stand-up comedy. It's very important to me. You have your thing, wanting the relics. I have my thing, <laughs> wanting to be a stand-up comic. <laughs> we gotta help each other. Uh -huh. Fantastic! With your aid, the Morku Corp Resistance has secured all of the sacred relics before they were stolen. I will make sure all of them are hidden away forever from evil corporations. You've done a fine thing here, and we couldn't have done it without you. Here's something I scraped together to reward your effort, and the local population will be sure to adore you as well. Well, this is definitely wrapping up point for today's episode. Uh, this is absolutely why I split this episode into two episodes, because, wow, that is a really, really long tune. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe even leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.